Hello, and thank you again for the work that you're doing, volunteering and helping in these challenging and places of crisis. In this video, I'm going to focus on how you can alleviate any physical pain you may beginning, begin to start experiencing when you are working with people who are going through suffering and trauma. It's also stuff that you might see in people around you. Physical pain is one of the symptoms of when you are suppressing strong emotions into your body. By working through what's going on, you're going to release more energy back into your system, into your uh, uh, life and this energy also helps your body to heal faster and it helps to um, give you more energy uh, throughout the day and to be an energized force with the people that you're with. So in this example if you're not a, is experiencing physical pain you might be feeling other physical experiences. I'm going to use the example of physical pain first of all. So for example you might start having a backache. What I want you to do first of all is again tune in to the place in your body where you're experiencing pain. I'll use the example of a backache. So I have this backache. You want to figure out specifically what is the flavor of that pain? Is it a throbbing pain? Is it a stinging pain? Is it a jabbing pain? And you also want to give that pain a color. So for example, I'm experiencing an orange stabbing pain in the right side of my lower back. The more specific that you are, the more effective this is. So first of all, we're just going, I'm just going to show you how to tap on that. Then I'm going to show you how to go more specifically into um, uh, getting to what might be some of the emotional energy underneath that. So even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back, I fully and completely love and accept myself. This orange pain in my lower right back, this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back, Orange, 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 this stabbing pain, my lower right back, the orange stabbing pain in my lower right back, orange stabbing pain, orange stabbing pain, lower right back, this orange stabbing pain, this orange stabbing pain, orange, 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 stabbing, 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 orange stabbing pain, lower right back, orange stabbing pain, lower right back. Stop and take a nice deep breath. And now assess on a scale of zero to 10, how strong that uh, orange stabbing pain or whatever it is in your, how, much, how strong it is in, in your lower right back, whatever it is you're experiencing still is. And I'm sorry if I didn't mention at the beginning, you should also do that self-assessment. So it would be like the orange stabbing pain is about an eight out of 10. Now I'm going to go into more specifically how do you can use uh, the color, for example, or even the fact that you have this pain to get more into the emotional reasons why this pain might be there. If you don't feel comfortable at this stage going into the emotional aspect, you can also just continue to tap on that pain until the pain itself seems to reduce down to two or below. But if it's staying stuck around five or six, or at any point it's just not going away, you might find that going into the emotional reasons can be very, very helpful. So the first thing you can just ask yourself is, how does having this pain make you feel? It might make you feel hopeless or overwhelmed. How does it make you feel on an emotional level to have this pain? I'm going to just use some which are in examples. You might have completely different ones. So just tap on whatever comes up for you. Even though having this stabbing orange uh, pain in my lower right back makes me feel hopeless and useless, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though having this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back makes me feel sad and tired, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though having this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back makes me feel 
weak and powerless. I fully and completely love and accept myself. This orange stabbing pain in my lower right back makes me feel weak, weak, powerless, hopeless. Orange right, orange stabbing pain, lower right back. Weakness, powerlessness, sadness, hopelessness. Orange pain, this orange pain, these feelings of powerlessness, these feelings of weakness, these feelings of tiredness, these feelings of overwhelm. Good, and then again, stop and take a nice deep breath. And again, you might want to go back to just focusing on the pain itself and scaling it on a scale of 0 to 10. On a scale of 0 to 10, how strong is the pain? Hopefully it's reduced some. Then you can check in on those emotions as well. So on a scale of 0 to 10, how weak or powerless or sad is it making you feel right now? And just take that number. If you've brought it all down to zero, that's really fantastic. If it's still there a little bit, you can keep going. Another way to use the color helps you go even more into uh, the deep unconscious feelings that might be there. So what you want to do is just imagine yourself surrounded by that color. In the case that I'm using, it's orange. It could be a different color for you. And then let yourself be open to how that orange or that color makes you feel on an emotional level. So for example, an emotion like anger might come up. Because you're trying to be happy and you're trying to do the work you do and you're trying to be positive, you may be feeling bear, uh, burying feelings of anger and other uncomfortable emotions in order for you to maintain a positive attitude. So this is a way you can actually process some of those uncomfortable emotions without it necessarily triggering up or coming up as frequently while you're getting around. So I'm going to process now on the, on the emotion anger, but you can fill in the blank that you have. Even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my back and I feel angry. I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my lower right back and I feel angry, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this orange stabbing pain in my lower back and I feel angry, I fully and completely love and accept myself. This orange stabbing pain in my lower back, I feel angry. This orange pain, this angry orange pain, anger, 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 this orange angry pain, this pain in my lower back, it makes me feel angry, anger, 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 this orange angry pain, this orange angry pain, all of these strong feelings, all of these uncomfortable feelings, this orange angry pain. Once you've gone around two times again, take a nice deep breath. And again, you want to first of all assess the original thing, which was the, uh, the orange angry pain or whatever it is for you. How strong is it now? And then you want to check in on those emotions. Sometimes the emotions may have actually come up because you're bringing them through the surface. So don't feel bad if the charge on, for example, the emotion anger has actually raised. Um, often when we take the pain out of the body, the emotional charge uh, comes up a little bit more. Then you want to just keep going on that emotion. So I'm now going to um, do um, one which is just blank for you to fill in your blanks. Throughout these videos, just tapping along, even though the stuff that I am saying may not match up exactly to your feelings, just tapping along and saying out loud whatever you're feeling maybe is effective or just simply tapping along with me tapping along is going to be effective as well. So tune in to exactly what you are feeling in your body right now. Things to notice are it might not be pain, it could be pressure, it could be tension, it could just be an uncomfortable feeling or sensation. So just take a moment to tune in exactly to what you're feeling in your body. You want to take notice of the location. It could be specific, it could be all over. If it's all over, you can just use that. Again, give it a color. 
Ask yourself how it makes you feel to have this pain. And you can go into the color, surround yourself with the color and see how that color makes you feel. And then you can just tap on all of these details that you've discovered. Other things may reveal themselves as you're going through it and that's fine too. Even though I have this and it makes me feel I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this and it makes me feel I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I have this and it makes me feel I fully and completely love and accept myself. This I feel all these strong emotions all these sensations in my body these feelings and sensations in my body the color this feeling in my all of these strong emotions this strong emotion Good, and stop and just take another nice deep breath. And then again, go through your self-assessment. You can just keep repeating this until you bring it all down to neutral. Even if you don't have the time to bring it down to neutral, just going through a couple of rounds will begin to alleviate the conflict in the body-mind and release more energy in your system. Once again, I want to thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. The love and the caring that you're bringing into the world is going to make the world a better place. Thank you so much.